So soup first. That's what you're always supposed to start with. Very nice. Nice. I think this one you just like. Very yeah, like, cool. How's the soup? Very nice. It's a hearty miso with, with some um, some greens, chives. Mm -hmm. Still very hot, but it's, it's a great miso. It's not over salted. Thank you. Look at the spread, baby. Mm -hmm. I love my soup. Such a good soup. Boom. Did that over there. So I'm going to start with the vegetarian sampler, which I'm super excited that they have. Uh, but this is a seaweed roll, which I'm super excited to try. I love seaweed. Charted for like three seconds. Mm. Oh my gosh, I was such a bad dad to buy. That's why they give you two. <laughs> this one comes with a little flower. All right, that was a salmon bite. Really, really good. The fish belly, it was a salmon belly, it was on the belly side. So not the muscle that's been turning and been working, but the one that's just been relaxing. Oh my gosh, that was so good. The rice is perfect too. I actually uh, watched an entire documentary on rice and sake. We ordered an unfiltered sake food tonight. Really, really nice one. But this rice, fantastic. Mm. Wow. The black truffle butter really makes it like sing. But the salmon is perfect. The rice is perfect. I understand why this place has Michelin star. So good. It's a quick update. The mushroom one was amazing. The mushroom was so beautifully cooked that if you don't like mushrooms, probably because you've never tried these mushrooms. It was amazing. I loved it. Also, side note, I've noticed in Brazil there's a fantastic use of nuts, which isn't as common in other places, I think. Like here, the edamame comes with shaved chestnuts. And as you guys probably remember from our last Michelin store place we ate at in Rio, they had nuts on like most of the dishes. So it's really fun. I really appreciate it because I really love like experimenting with different textures and I think they just add such a different texture. 
Yes, sir. Look, he's delivering. The Santa. <laughs> Um, yeah, I ordered salmon with truffle butter and some other fun goodness in a second way. I couldn't handle just the first one. I had to ask for more. So, um, I think these are called hand rolls, officially. Um, you can get the traditional sushi rolls and they dice them up, like I got here, or a hand roll. Um, Typically, the hand roll comes with like a higher end of like, meat or experience. So, um, I'm gonna take a couple bites of this one and let you know how it is. Mm. Okay. The exact same fantastic experience I had earlier, except this had a little tempura on it, and um, it's wrapped in seaweed. Very nice seaweed, by the way. So, uh, I'm reliving my experience that I had seven minutes ago. So nice. It's really, really nice. Really nice. Right, beautiful oyster. Can't remember where it's from, but we're gonna put a lot of trust in these guys. Look how fantastic that oyster looks, the opaqueness. Um, if you guys wanna check out another oyster, fantastic, fun experience we had in Redondo Beach, California. You can do that on our YouTube channel, one of our previous videos. Uh, this one's got row on it. Really nice row. Looks like salmon row, I guess. I can't remember what um, the Portuguese menu told me. So I'm gonna eat this, and I made sure it's untethered so we don't have an awkward experience. Mm. It does have Tabasco in it, but it's mild, super mild. Very clean. Mm. That was a lovely oyster. And the, the roe um, makes it pop. It's like pop rocks in your mouth a little bit. Very much so, actually. And the Tabasco is a nice finish. It's a nice, clean finish. Mm. That's impressive. Mm. It's true. Mm. Mm. It's nice. Mm. What what does shrimp tempura taste like at a Michelin star restaurant? We will soon find out. Mm. The tempura is nice to you. It's not like it's in the way. When most tempura feels like it's in the way, it's like an afterthought. So you, did you just use fish batter for this tempura? Because it doesn't work. Or is it like cake batter? That doesn't work either. It's not like a, like a, a Baja fish, fish taco. You don't use that tempura on shrimp tempura. This shrimp tem tempura is actually fantastic. And of course the rice is fantastic. The soy sauce is fantastic. I'm, I'm literally not even using wasabi. I don't have to burn my mouth for no reason. I'm trying to enjoy the ingredients. This is lovely. Mm. And I'm not overplaying it. I will tell you when it sucks. Believe me. I'm a food critic. We ordered an unfiltered sake. They tend to be our favorite compared to uh, filtered sake. Even though there's very nice filtered sakes, but the unfiltered sakes have sediment at the bottom, the unfiltered part. 
and it's very cloudy. You can see, but a traditional sake would be filtered and it would be clear. Um, this is unfiltered, so it still has the a lot of the rice remnant in it. And uh, he was going to pour our glass of unfiltered sake, and I said, and I said to please shake that a lot more because he was going to give us the filtered part, all of the good stuff in my mind on the unfiltered sake at the bottom. And so I was thinking, you know, when you're a cave diver, you don't want the sediment, but when you're a sake drinker, you you want the sediment. So I was telling him, shake that money maker, shake that bottle, like shake, shake that unfiltered bottle, like like your life depends on it. <laughs> So this sake is technically called nigori. When I asked for nigori, um, funny story. There's also a drink. Right. Here it is. Thank you. And there's dessert. Profiterol. Thank you. Italian dessert. Nice. Jeremy got an Italian dessert at a Japanese restaurant. Only Jeremy could do that. Anyway, back to the wine. This is rice wine. And um, when I ordered it, I asked, like, what uh, Nigori's do you have? Like, cloudy, sake, rice wines. And they brought me a cocktail, which I believe is Negroni, made with some, like, starts with an A, Aerosol, what's the liquor? I forget. Anyway, I never order those. Um, ne Negorini. So the cocktail is called Nigroni. And so they brought me one. <laughs> and I was like, I didn't order that. But I think it's a language barrier thing again. When I told them, I explained to them and I showed them pictures and we, we had a good laugh about it even though we speak different languages. So it all worked out. Yeah. Wow. Ice cream. Oh. 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 oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's very nice. The creamiest cream, cream, cream. It's almost not even ice cream, but it's so creamy. Mm. It's like a custard? Yeah, 100%. Mm. But it's a nice custard. Most custards you get in like donuts, you regret afterwards. This one you don't regret. This one's like on the whipped cream side. It's on the good side. It's nice. Good finish. This has been a fantastic show from the wonderful restaurant of Kinoshita, Michelin Star, Sao Paulo, Brazil. If you're from here, Basil. Thank you.